All right, people, here is the deck profile for Madoches. So um, you can clearly see you get double daily duels today. We got the deck profile for Madoches and the deck that will be replacing it, Aliens. You guys are on Aliens. They got one new card and all of a sudden Aliens. Like, all right, that's fine. Uh, anyway, you guys actually voted uh, for this previous month's this previous Daily Duels lineup, Madoche, again. This is actually the third time that Madoche has been on Daily Duels. It was on, I believe, I believe in the beginning, like the, as soon as Daily Duels started, it was one of the uh, beginning decks, then I took it off, and then I got put back on, and I took it off, and it's been off for a long time, and all of a sudden, someone suggested it, put it up in the polls, it got voted on. It's amazing. So, uh, one of the things that I definitely wanted to go ahead and try that we couldn't try previous two times that Madoche's run, the Pendulum Mechanic. The Pendulum Mechanic didn't even exist back then. Like, that's how far, uh, how old uh, Madoche has been on here since then. It's been really old. So, the Pendulum Mechanic with, with it, how did it go? Oh, fantastic. Like, that Perform Pendulum is fucking stupid. Like, this shit needs to be hit. Like, you go so plus, so good, so, mmm, you know, the, and then... The Madoche engine, that's great, and Tiramisu, like, I just go stupid fucking plus, and it, it's just extreme, so, let me go ahead and give you guys that profile, you want to go ahead and take it, play with it, do whatever you want with it, more power to you, but let's go ahead and go, so, uh, simply when I started making the deck, Madoche's alright, well I know, and you play the five main monsters, you know, so, you got the lady, Magdalene, of course, the searcher, you got Angeli, the little girl, the tributary to summon Hook Cake, Hook Cake, the owl, Banished to summon from your deck, Kitty Cat, the additional summoner, and uh, the rank 3 enabler play. And Messing Gelato, the guy that you never want to fucking draw, the guy. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, of course, this is the Searcher. Uh, one of the plays that you can do, I probably went into detail about this before with the plays, but uh, essentially what you try to do is make uh, rank 3 play to introduce the rank 4 play to Tiramisu. So, let's say, for example, I open up with uh, Kitty Cat and Angeli. That's literally like the two cards that you need. You open up with those, you go great. You go Kitty Cat and Angeli. Angeli tributes itself off to the graveyard. Summon Hoot Cake. Hoot Cake banish the Angeli. Summon Messenger and Gelato. Messenger and Gelato special summon while you control a beast monster, i.e. Kitty Cat. Therefore, you get a search. Oh, actually, both Kitty Cat and um, Hoot Cake. Get a search. Search for your Chateau. Uh, turn these two into a Levier. Detach to the kitty cat, specifically detached kitty cat, so I'm back to the Angeli that you banished for Huke. These two go into Tiramisu, detach the Angeli, spin two cards back, uh, and then the Chateau, well actually they activate Chateau right after you summon Master Gelato, like as soon as you summon Master Gelato, activate the Chateau, because you don't want to, you know, activate at the wrong time, because if you go like in the levy or detach, you know, uh, put summon back in jelly, then play Chateau, your Madoche monsters will go back to your deck, and then you won't have anything for a Tiramisu, so make sure you activate it uh, early. Detach, uh, Tiramisu, spin back two, then Chateau will get the cards instead of go back to the deck, go back to your hand, put the cat back, and the Angeli back. So you went plus, busted out Levier, got your Chateau, busted out Tiramisu, spun back, and got your monsters back to your hand to play again. So that's great. Uh, another play, it's not as great, it's really not as great. Uh, if you have a monster grid, but generally your hand traps, or maybe one of your monsters that you attach to material, and you have Hoot Cake, it's not as great as the Angeli play, but you can go Kitty Cat, Hoot Cake, Hoot Cake, Banish, Summon Messenger Lotto, get your search. Turn these two into X Saber and Volker, who can summon a level four Earth Warrior monster from your deck, or Beast Warrior, but Warrior specifically, another Messenger Dollar is two. I see those two into Tiramisu Detach, and of course, uh, you get uh, Messenger Dollar back and this back uh, if you search for uh, Chateau. So it's not as great as a play, uh, but still, okay. So yeah, I would just say uh, definitely three of this, three of this, three of this. I say three of this, but I see people running on two, but you open up with this, with this, and it's just so good, so why wouldn't you run three of this, like, right? And uh, I would say you don't want to draw this. It's bad to draw this. So I could see you running two. The reason why I want three is just in case. I, I want every amount of messenger in the deck as possible. Last thing I need to do is just draw two of them and I can't do shit. So I was like, I want to give my best chance possible to not draw him. And with the pendulum mechanic, he's not as bad, you know? Because uh, one interesting fact is that if you pendulum summon him while pendulum summoning some beasts, so like Hoot Cake or, uh, or Angeli, I mean, or uh, uh, Kitty Cat, Mofili, then you do get his effect. So do the pendulum mechanic, that's nice. And now, uh, really, it's just these four, these five messenger, uh, uh, Madoche, that's it. Just these five, that's all you really need. Uh, hand traps. Two Maxi, two Valor. No, they're simple. Let's sim like this right here. This right here is just simple Madoche shit. Like that right there. Simple Madoche shit. Alright, now let's get to the Pendulum side of things. So, uh, 
I've been doing a lot with the Performer Pal engine. Uh, it won't be the first time you see it, it won't be the last time you see it, I can definitely guarantee that. It's random the Crystal Beast that will be getting the deck profile on Friday, and also, you know, I'm not sure, I haven't recorded Aliens yet for Daily Duels. Uh, it's going to go up the same time as this, but that will also have the Performer Pal engine. So, instead of just playing Aliens, let's, 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 let's pump it up. Performer Pal Aliens, because I can, you know? Uh, so, of course, we are running with the one monkey board, the one skull Joker, we're running the sorcerer. Sorcerer, mm, yeah. You don't really need three, even if he got limited, he'd still be pretty good, and I could probably still do the perform pal engine, but still, you know, just so good. Uh, the one swing cobra, just attack, he's a lower scale. I generally don't use him for his monster effect or anything else. Like, he's just a lower scale reptile monster that I can search with King of Feralind. It's one of the things that I learned from uh, playing uh, the Crystal Beast Pendulum uh, with. Uh, Forever Epic. You just toss it in, it's a lower scale, because there's not a lot of, there's more upper scales than lower scales. Like, you don't generally want Sorcerer in your Pendulum scale. Like, if you did in your Pendulum scale, that's great, you know, because that 1,000 boost is not bad, but this will be lower scale, but you might get rid of it. This is a lower scale. These are upper scale, so two Lizard Draw. I've still been going back and forth between two and three, but for now, we'll just go ahead and go with two and one Guitar Turtle, because Guitar Turtle's the main one. You put him in a Pendulum scale, you don't want him to go away. If he goes away, of course, you still have your Lizard Draw, so that's fine, but, you know, every time you actually have a Form Pound Draw card, it's so nice, so this is like a pottery. It's like plus. Let's go. Uh, then I know I'm bad. I know I'm bad for this, but let, hear me out. Three Pendulum Rising. You're like, what the fuck? Like, who the play, Who plays Three Pendulum Rising? This is literally just straight up, just consistency. I bust out my, my Pendulum plays. So Pendulum Rising. I run three of it. If I open up with multiples, that's fine. I'll just set it, and then when I use this, this other Pendulum Rising to actually summon Sorcerer, Sorcerer will just pop the Pendulum Rising. That, you know, once I get Sorcerer, once I get the ball growing, a Pendulum Sorcerer, let's go. You know, we got this level four, this level four, this level four. So I will gladly go ahead, summon a Messenger Lotto, set a Pendulum Rising, activate a Pendulum Rising, tribute the Messenger Lotto, which is a Medotri and Gregor, throw a Sorcerer, Sorcerer pop themselves, pop the second Pendulum Rising, get to Pomor Pals, and you know, go to town on your ass. Get you know, search for like Guitar Turtle, search for like. Uh, Monkey board, play guitar turtle, play monkey board, draw a card, monkey board, search for, you know, uh, it could be a lizard draw, it could be a skull curlet joker, you know, so some great shit, some great shit. So that's the reason why we run three. If you think I'm bad for that, I apologize, but it helps, it really does. And when you open up a pendulum rising, especially without the level four, like, I, I'm doing the same shit in Aliens, so if it's, if it's giving you a fucking heart attack, like, no, like, straight up when I was working on Aliens, I, I looked up some combo pieces, some decks, and of course, like that, that new searcher card is great and all. But one of the main things, now this is like, there are some level four aliens, let's do the pension rising shit again. Uh, one is diffusion, Norton, duh. You know, fuck Thousand Irish Strike. That shit can go up to three, no one gives a shit. It's all about Norton, the enabler. Uh, triple turn twister, pop that back row, one ticket, one chateau. Uh, I used to do two chateau, but then I was like, I don't really need, I just need one ticket, one chateau, and then I'll just put them back with Tiramisu, if need be. So don't get rid of my ticket or my chateau, because I'll just put it back in the deck, and I can easily search it again with Messenger Gelato, so. And then, uh, I would usually like to do three strike, one warning, but as you can clearly see, the deck is really, really, really tight. And, uh, I'm bad. You could probably go with only two pension rising and then three strike, but then I was like, nope, 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 more aggressive, more, but give me the pension rising, I want it. So, two warning, one, I mean, one, two warning, I'm cheating now. One warning, two strike, so, uh, why not? Generally, with these more aggressive decks, I'm not playing any back row. Like, I don't think I'm playing any back row in Aliens from the first draft of the deck. And I don't think I played any back row in Crystal Beast. Like, after a while, I started amending the deck, changing it up. You'll see the deck profile on Friday. But from what the original deck was, from what I got from Forever Epic, I changed it so it doesn't run any back row. Because back row's too slow. But, you know, it's nice to go ahead, bust out that Tiramisu, detach, spin back two. Then you try to get rid of her, hit you with a strike, and then spin back two more cards. So... Uh, anyways, go actually have, so, of course, Norton, Utopia, Utopia, Lightning, Dark Rebellion, uh, King of Royal Imps, because you can search this, and you can search this, and these are two very key cards, so. Uh, two Tiramisu, you could probably go with three, but two, because you could put herself back, but, uh, I'd say if you have room, maybe go with three, so, you maybe don't need him. I don't think I've used him, but I definitely, I think I've used up my two Tiramisus in duel, so. Castell, uh, Diamond Dire Wolf. Uh, Dark Crystal Emerald, put them back just in case. So I guess you could put your Terminus Zeus back with Dark, uh, with Emerald if need be. Uh, Dweller, two Levier, one Invoker, one Brick Sword, just in case. So. And uh, yeah, there is a deck profile from Doce, so. Uh, put uh, Pentel on Doce, that's that. So, pretty powerful, it's pretty powerful. Promo files are good, Doce are good, slap them together and you got a pretty good deck. You know, I go straight up plusing with this and this and this and this and this and this and it's just, you know, I generally have like, Hell of resources, hell of resources. So it was, it was fun. It was fun. I enjoyed the return of Mojo Chase. I'm glad I got to actually try out 
uh, a new version of the deck. So uh, you're going to be getting deck profiles all this week. Like none of the decks stayed for another month, which is fine, just fine. So you'll be getting double daily deals uh, this week, deck profile and the deck replacing it. So uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. If you haven't checked out the first uh, video with aliens, be sure to. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching deck profile support. I will see you guys tomorrow. We are going to be playing with, I believe, normal pendulums because you guys voted on that. So that should be interesting. I believe it was on daily duels previously, a long, long, long time ago, but uh, it got voted on again. So that's fine, normal pendulum. And uh, I will be giving you guys the deck profile for the Silent Magician deck. All right, people, thanks for watching.